lower down, I pretty much never go for it, honestly. Uh, but it's when she's like this sort of height that I'm, you know, okay with it. But say it's like, you know, she's uh, up here, right? Then I, I might be willing to do it at like 30, 40. I think the key thing is, I was going to point out that like, I do the full hop hitter. And it doesn't lead to like a combo. But the important uh -huh. thing is I outplay the next option, right? You know, say we just, if she goes like, right, they've just shot loads, let me come down now. They're going to get hit by this one, right? Mm. Um, but eventually it is like you run out of space here, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't keep doing this <coughs> particularly. But this might be a spot where you're like... Jump away, and I was like... like yeah, you have like, to do it more. Just like float at me, you know, like... Um, did that send through, by the way? Because I haven't got anything oh. on my end. Oh, shit. Sorry, dude. No, you're good. <laughs> I, did not hit, I didn't hit enter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said something. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought that might be the case, but I was like, oh, I like yeah, it. I like <laughs> oh, wow. I'm glad you said something. Oh. <laughs> right. Um, ready? Screen quick. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it sounds like you've thought quite a lot about this then, which is great to hear. Um, and it seems mm -hmm. like you've, you know, watched quite a bit. Um, yeah, like, honestly, I thought that it was going to be a lot harder, but even just the little things that I got from, like, Fiction's YouTube yeah. made the matchup feel like, uh, oh, like, a bunch of things clicked. And then I felt like, if I just incorporate, like, some, some of these rules that I already have labbed out, then I think I'll be doing a lot better, but we can take a look at some things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you see okay? I can see fine, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um... Uh, and you can see my squiggles. I can, <laughs> yep. <laughs> there was one lesson I had the other day where I was squiggling for like half an hour and, and the guy was just like, yeah, 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 we're good. And they couldn't see it, but they didn't tell me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Alright, cool. <laughs> yeah, I already like I, I can only tell you've watched some of the fiction stuff just from seeing some of these plays. <laughs> I li I li really like the side platform laser stuff. Yeah, one thing that came up a lot was uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't just laser her in the corner. So that's something I wrote. I was like, he's got to laser. Her. He's mm -hmm. got to like, you know, like try and cover one of her get up options. Because I don't know if you can react to them. Mm -hmm. I was trying to do it in Uncle yeah. Punch the other day, and it was pretty tough. So yeah, I was you thinking can react like to um, all of them. The the punish you get isn't like that great depending on which one they do. But you can react mm -hmm. to all of them. It's just quite hard. Okay, okay, yeah. I th I thought it was pretty hard, but I was like, all right, you know, just r cover one of her get up options, and then if you mess up, you can kind of just keep her in the corner with like lasers. Mm -hmm. But I, if you'll watch this, we'll watch maybe even a couple games, and like, I don't laser her in the corner once, and so yeah, that's something I really gotta do. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like my vibe just from seeing that first stock was, I feel like your overall sort of game plan going in is really good. It's just some of the specific situations when you're up close that are mm -hmm. sort of screwing you up, I think. So, mm -hmm. for example, even right at the start, these lasers on the side plot are amazing, you know, um, they float, and then your laser is a little bit too high and they go under it, and uh -huh. then you end up running into her getting nerd into down smash, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you want to be really aware of the height you're shooting, um, because once you force it to go low, you want to start shooting lower, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then if the laser isn't going to hit her here, then you need to defend yourself somehow. So that could be either putting out a hitbox here, it could mm -hmm. be moving backwards, it could be uh, jumping up here, right? Just something mm -hmm. so that you're not just getting clipped by this aerial, right? It could even be jumping off with um, narrow down air if you want to. Um, yeah. What do you think about, um, like, let's say I were to jump off here mm -hmm. like a sh with a short hop down air. Mm -hmm. um, do you hit the ground before Peach? Yeah. Is that like a fine thing to do, is to, to down air her there? Yeah, so that, that's a really key interaction, and I'm glad you brought it up. So the, the two things it depends on for that is um, how high above the ground Peach is. 
mm -hmm. um, and her percent, right? Mm -hmm. So the higher the percent she is, the faster she's going to go into the ground. Mm -hmm. But also the higher up she is, the more time it's going to take her to go to the ground, right? Yeah, yeah. So if she's high up and she's at low percent, then she's going to fall really... She's, she won't reach the ground very quickly, right? She's going to uh -huh. fall slowly um, and she'll take a long time to reach the ground. So at this sort of percent, I think it's fine. But mm -hmm. say she was at like, I don't know, um, you know, 40%, right? Mm -hmm. um, and she was quite low, you know, maybe she was like down here, then mm -hmm. that would be not a good downer to go for because she's going to touch mm -hmm. the ground and then down smash you, right? Yeah, do you find that it's like pretty lenient or is it like pretty strict? Like, are you, when when you're down airing from these kinds of heights, are you going like, yeah, they're, they're low percent, I can do this down air, or is it like, oh, it's, they're 35%, like that's, you know what I mean? Like, is it, yeah, I get is you. it, um, I, I think, it's, it's something you just have to like it's just something you get from experience based on like down airing yeah. different percents and, and just having a feel for how they're going to fall i'd mm -hmm. say um maybe as like a rough guide maybe like if she's at this height you know just only do it before like 20 or something mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. lower down if she's lower down i pretty much never go for it honestly uh but mm -hmm. it's when she's like this sort of height that i'm you know okay with it but say it's mm -hmm. like you know she's uh, up here, right? Mm -hmm. Then I, I might be willing to do it at like 30, 40. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because she's okay. got so far to fall, right? Right, right, okay. Um, but yeah, that's really important. I'm glad you you uh, mentioned it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, all it was is just like, you know, be be careful with this. I thought the, the initial game plan was really good. It's mm -hmm. just once she gets close, you also need to play that situation well as well, right? Yeah, for sure. I definitely jumped the gun and thought that laser was going to hit. Mm hmm Um, and another small thing here as well was like her back's turned and you dash. Um, and this is a spot where you could probably just hold down, especially because you're wave dashing right now. Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, probably put you in a position to get hit, but it was fine because you can hold down, right? But if you don't, mm -hmm. then you end up getting popped up. Um, so just like a really general thing in all matchups, but it comes up versus Peach a bit is when you do like a wave dash or a roll or something like that, just make sure you're holding down. Mm -hmm. So that if she clips you with like a, a weakish hit like this, you can reversal, right? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So you get in the corner, you fall off a wave, which is great. Um, the waveline could have maybe got you hit, I mean, if they didn't down her instead. So that's just something to think about there, you know, maybe you want to just just do the, full, like, just only a full hop rather than full yeah. hop waveline. And then kind of, kind of see what's going on, you Yeah, because, like, if they're floating here, right, and then you're up here falling down, you can very easily down her this, right? Mm -hmm. um, you might end up trading potentially, but it, it's usually going to be fine. Uh, and you still yeah. also have the option to side B over here, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you also have double jump. You know, you have a lot more options once you're up here and can sort of just juke her almost. Mm -hmm. um, but I do like the idea of the full hop wave blend. You know, if Peach were to dash attack here or something, then you'd get a really big punish. So. Right. Um, and then I like the jump off. So this is the one where I might consider turnaround laser. Right. Mm -hmm. Keep her mm -hmm. in the corner, get a laser out. Um, you only really want to do the back air if you think she'll, you know, run at you here, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, she's shielding, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's definitely one of the major takeaways I had was that I was not thinking about lasering her in the corner. And this would have been a great yeah. example of like just like her being in a really bad position. Mm -hmm. um, oh, another thing I was thinking about was I felt like laser on top of her like never worked <laughs> you know like unless i laser like directly on top of her but like you know sometimes you laser not maybe at the tip of your shine or maybe mm -hmm. just outside of your shine you gotta walk up a little bit yeah. like that situation almost never worked out for me and so yeah. i was thinking like because she because peach doesn't have a very good dash yeah. is there any reason i couldn't shoot a laser like outside of her tilt ranges and then like, you know what I mean? Because I'm... Yeah. 
No, I just felt like, why do I need the laser on top of her? Like, like I would much rather be jumping on top of her with like an aerial or something. But I don't know. I don't know if that's. Yeah, a... I, I think. Um, I mean, that situation's rough for Falco versus a lot of characters, just because his shine isn't big enough to just give you a guaranteed hit. Uh huh. Uh, I think one thing you can probably do more there is to grab. Um, just because grab's decent versus Peach, you know, the the situation you put her in is pretty bad for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the grab has a bit more range than the um, the shine, right? Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, you're right. It can end up with you know you getting like tick laser jabbed or like tick laser down smashed. You know, little things like mm -hmm. that. Um, so yeah, I think if you have the choice, I'd say you want to land like directly on top of her or spaced outside of like her immediate range, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, sometimes that's not always possible. Sometimes they'll do something tricky like SDI. Or taking the laser and then moving to sort of mm -hmm. change up the spacing. Um, so yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's my thoughts on that. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, then this is great. So retreat and full hop lasers. You hit her out of the flow. So then here is when I would try and drop through probably, or like try to push my advantage a bit, right? Because you've already hit her out of the flow. Uh huh. This laser. Uh huh. Yeah, like really, the second laser just covers like what double jump. Yeah, yeah, but it's like she's not gonna double jump in the middle it's of the gonna... stage, right? <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, she's probably gonna fall or put out an aerial or maybe air dodge or something here. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would probably drop through. Uh, either you want to like drop through laser here, um, try to catch her falling sort of like this way, right? Mm -hmm. Um, or you could even just like dash shot up forward and then get ready to like aerial her, right? Again, yeah, uh, she's and quite high. Even then I could fall through if I notice. Cause just this frame kind of looks like she might land on the platform, but just yeah, that short yeah, she has can that... still fall through the platform. Yeah, yeah, she has that drift, so she can sort of do both here, which mm -hmm. makes it a bit awkward. But um, yeah, and I mean, even if you drop through, she stays on the platform, you're still below her. So it's still a pretty mm -hmm. good spot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so this is what I sort of meant by the specifics. It's like you're setting up really good situations, but then there'll be like a small misjudgment or misplay that's mm -hmm. making you drop the entire opening, right? Right, right. And then as soon as you shoot that one extra unnecessary laser, like she's suddenly back in a much better spot. Now she's in a spot where she can actually do a lot to you, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. If she wants. Yeah, so that's the sort of height where I wouldn't want to down her. Yeah, yeah. Again, look at the percent, right? So higher percent, yeah. lower to the ground um, than before, where it was like maybe this high. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just not going to go as well. Do you think that aerialing there at all is a good idea? Do you think it should have just been an air or something? Or do you think yeah, that... Yeah, yeah. I think, I think nairing can actually be good here because a lot of people nowadays sort of act at this timing when the down air lands, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if you nair them, they're going to act at the wrong timing or get thrown off mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. um, nice. Yes, yeah, so you actually do a good laser here, so you roll out. Um, you dash down and then go for the laser. Um, I mean, I guess you could have punished the roll, but you know, I don't think the laser was a terrible choice if you feel like you're a bit slow. You know, mm -hmm. catch her in the corner, then you get this laser, and this is, I think, is one of the spacings you were sort of talking about. Like, if they don't get the power shield here, this is a really good spot for you, right? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. This is the spacing I felt like I liked more. Yeah, definitely. Um, but a little closer than that, maybe like half the distance. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that spacing. Like, yeah, where the laser no, definitely. hit it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Because, um, again, thinking about your threats and the opponent's threats, right? Like, Peach. Her main threats here are like jab, down smash, so sort of like this sort of zone. Right? Mm -hmm. She has dash attack, but it's going to weak it usually here. Whereas, mm -hmm. you know, like you can dash short of aerial and end up like all the way back here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have back air to cover this sort of space. Um, so you're just in a really good position here, I feel like. Um, yeah, yeah. I, de I definitely felt that in the games. Yeah. And then this one was really close. Um, Again, just slight misjudgment. So I think here you just want to look for Nair rather than trying to shine. Mm -hmm. um, just because of the shine, I mean, you, you were so close, but it still doesn't hit, right? Yeah. Um, and I feel like, uh, you know, if you Nair her here, right? Like, you'd be catching her out of her double jump. 
So she'd get pushed sort of this way. And then yeah. all she has is her float and up B, right? So she can't really get any higher. So it becomes a very easy edge guard for you. Um, whereas yeah. shining her up here gives her an opportunity to get high and then you know, <clears throat> float over you maybe, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I prioritized shine a little bit too much and maybe I should have been up tilting more. Like even when I did like dare shine, it probably should have been dare up tilt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends a lot on the percent and, you know, how you think they'll be high. Um... So I really like this, but again, um, so the back off laser is fine. You know, she jumps over it, so you wait, that's great. You back into the corner, that's great, because she can't hit through here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're in this sort of safe zone. But then again, you sort of like dash dance, you're outside the, z the zone, which is great. But then you sort of play it as if you could still get hit, right? Yeah, yeah. And now you're in an awful spot, and you know, you luckily get out. But you could see how this could be, you know, you just keep dash dancing here, maybe. They down smash and then you down at them, right? Uh huh, uh huh, yeah. You could definitely see my uncomfortable ability yeah. in, in these sort of situations. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Yeah, should have never been in the corner in the first place, and I could have full hopped even if I did. I mean, I, I think this part was fine. Um, and you end up here, and then here I just think you back air, shine, dash back grab, up to, uh -huh. you know, there's quite a few uh -huh. things here. Um, yeah. And then once you're here, this is fine also. You do take quite a bit of a risk here, which doesn't quite work out, but there is a world where it works, so I don't mind it too much. Um, but I'd say you probably want the default to just be like, drop through bear or like downer on the platform, those sorts of things. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then here, I would just try and full hop out, I think, rather than trying to jump towards her with a laser aerial mix-up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so hard for her to, like, from that aerial to cover, like, full hop side B here, right? Mm -hmm. She would have to, like, do this with this fair and then dash and then jump and then double jump. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. all of that preemptively to even contest this, right? And if you do anything else, she just, like, gives up the corner completely, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Um... So yeah, I just feel like this isn't very good risk reward for you here, going for this mix-up of like, am I going to laser, am I going to aerial, am I show up? Because you probably just end up trading either way, right? Yeah, for sure. For um... sure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so this is one of the situations I'll probably try and grab in instead. So you see how the first shine whiffs? So you could do like dash chase, you grab here. Or walk grab. Because you can see how, like, you, like, if they didn't have the turn up there, for example, like, you could have maybe got down smashed, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, or another thing you can do with the spacing is just to dash away and then dash back in. Just give you a bit of time what? to react. What uh, throw would you have gone for? Just a fourth throw uh, or F throw? throw? Yeah, F throw. F throw, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you can up throw if you think they'll DI forward. Um, mm -hmm. But they can usually just DI behind here and get out, so on up yeah, throw. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, I'd definitely be, like, way closer here. So you're at zero now, which means that you can just crouch by the ledge, and she has a very, very hard time doing anything. Uh, um, so, okay. like, what does she do here? Get up attack? So, like, you can CC and then uh, forward smash, down tilt, down tilt shine, yeah. up tilt, down air, like, <laughs> like pretty yeah, much anything. Whatever, whatever I want. Yeah. I mean, you can also go for, like, the, you know, just sit back, laser her coming up. But I like the, the crouch cancel when she's, like, these sorts of percents, and you're uh -huh. quite low. Um, I think that's fine. Um. <clears throat> so when I watched this, my thought here was, I probably should have just turned my back and threaten Bear and coaxed yeah. her to the ledge. Yeah, definitely. I think just some sort of movement to get you with your back turn, so that could be, um, you know, wave dash and then turn around, right? Mm -hmm. Or something, or shine turn around there. Like, I think shine turn around back air would have been pretty good here, actually, if you wanted to run off. Because mm. it would put out a hitbox sort of like 
in this sort of zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see that she ends up blitzing into it, probably. Yeah. Um, and then I thought the roll in was quite risky here. So usually you want to roll away from Peach in this spot just because she's too slow, right, to catch up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to the point where it's like not really even a mix up between like rolling in or rolling back or whatever. Like she's just uh -huh. physically too slow. Uh -huh. um... Um... And then I think here, yeah. I think the shield stop actually prevents you from getting anything here. Um, because off of the jab you can do, like, you don't have to do jab bear, right? You could do stuff like jab and then dash nair. Or, mm -hmm. or up mm -hmm. smash or something. Um, so it's kind of put you in a weird spot. Yeah, against Peach, uh, <laughs> laser jab is so scary. Like, falling <laughs> up on it for some reason. But I think this all comes back to, like, I just have so much yeah. inexperience in yeah. the matchup. But yeah... This one was just like jumping at the wrong time. So I think this one could have been down air if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Quite high up, low percent. Um, I think here I would probably either be looking for a pair or just dash dancing on the ground, honestly. Um, I feel like up till it's one of those things that it feels really good to do because it covers them dropping through. But uh -huh. people are like so scared of up tilt that they just never drop through and are willing to get hit by it i feel like uh, or, yeah. or at least your average like decent player yeah they're gonna yeah, try and outplay sure. in some way like you know this sort of thing nice try and scroll cool. yeah so another thing here is like jumping in place rather than jumping forward you can see mm -hmm. it. And I mean, this is the wave on actually getting you hit, to be honest. So, like, yeah. it didn't even matter. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, the jumping in place can be a bit safer. Like, just jump straight up and then. Um, again, you know, side B, come down with down air. Yeah. Yeah, and then this is another one, you know, you're, you're pretty safe to just keep dash dancing in the corner, wait for it to land, and then do something. <coughs> When you're dash dancing in the corner like that, like, mm -hmm. when you say wait for it to land, yeah. wait for it to land on the platform, and then what am I looking for? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, she could land either on the platform or on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the again, the main thing is, like, she can't hit over here. Yeah, yeah. So once she lands, that's when you then look to try and escape the corner if you want to. Um, you know, you can full uh, heart, see. you could yeah. dash in and then shield maybe. Or if you want to keep waiting and look for her to, you know, some peaches will like land and then down smash here, right? Mm -hmm. Or something. And then you can look to sort of reversal her. Um, but yeah, you're just looking for ways to escape the corner or reversal, right. her, essentially. Okay, right, right, right. Um, or if she lands over here, then that's when you maybe want to try and get a laser out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, I miss my L cancel, and then yeah. I try to do a second, like, yeah. run off, double jump, down air, but... Yeah, okay. Um, I think the really important thing here is, like, um, a lot of peaches here, they'll double jump, get hit by the laser, and they'll flip immediately, right? Yeah. So what if you just shot the second laser, right? Yeah, I wrote that in my notes, actually, yeah. that a lot of times I would... I'd be lasering, and I would, like, just assume that that was the float. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got the float. yeah. You gotta check. But, uh, right? yeah, I actually do have to check. And I was watching Ginger. Yeah. And um, when he was shooting his lasers, he was like taking so much time. He just like, was that the float? No. Was there? You go. That's the float. <laughs> yeah. Like he yeah, would just. Okay. Like, it was just way slower than I thought it was, and I was like, oh, you can kind of yeah. just check. Almost. Yeah, you have time because she's so slow, right? Yeah. Um, another <clears> thing I'm not sure if you're aware, because some people 
are and some people aren't. Um, mm -hmm. When people double jump, they get like two little rings below them. Mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. if you, you, you're aware of that. I am, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely look for that. And then also they have like, if you if you play with audio, double jump has like a different sound cue to um, float as well. Yeah. Um, float also <coughs> has these like little stars under it. Yeah, yeah. So that's another thing you can do to check as well. Um... I think one thing that would help you in the corner pressure also is just doing like really simple, just like uh, dash back and then backflip and then look for back air. Mm. Rather than like doing all this, you know, like shield stop, full hop, wave land, drop through, you know. Because mm -hmm. um, the backflip just sort of like jumps around so many things like jabs and down smash and um, dash attack. Uh, mm -hmm. And then it leaves your open options open so that if you do then want to do the double jump, you can. Or the wave land or, you know, whatever. So like this would be a good situation for it. Um, so you bear the shield. And then I just want you to do like dash back. And then backflip and do a back air, right? That covers the right. sort of zone. Yeah. Right. Um, and you know, she would end up running into it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, same with this one as well. So again, like, the, the furthest point she can reach here is probably, like, here, right? Mm -hmm. So if you place a back air right sort of here, it's going to be, like, it's just going to beat out any sort of, like, jab or down smash or grab or anything like that that she tries to do. Right. Mm, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna avoid whatever aerial she comes down with because the platform's there. Yeah. So you're saying that back air beats whatever landing option she chooses. Well, it doesn't yeah. beat everyone, but it beats like a lot of them. It beats a lot of them. Yeah. 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 And you have that time to set up the jump because she can't actually hit you immediately, right? Right. Oh, what do you feel about doing like a back air, a retreating back air, um, on a stage like FD where there's it's not a situation like this where the platform's protecting me. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that can be good. Um, I think you'd probably want to be a bit closer if you were doing that. Mm. Um, just because you can end up trading if you're like moving <laughs> away with back air and she's moving into you with. Uh, right. Like do you do you be like, yeah, probably. do you think that it's kind of like a, like a last resort option? Like, oh, I'm in a bad like Peach can just come on top of me with a with an yeah. aerial. Like, I should just protect myself with a back here. Yeah, yeah. It's like, if you're under her and you haven't really got any other real options, particularly, mm -hmm. then, um, then yeah, I think dashing away with back air and landing sort of over here could be pretty mm -hmm. good. But you don't think there's any instances where doing, like, that backflip back air is better than... How do I say this? Like... You don't think there's an instance where it's like that's the clear choice, other than what you're saying as like a last resort kind of like, oh, I don't yeah, really I, have... I don't think so. No. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um... Yeah. Rough. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think let's let's watch a little bit of um odds then. I think. I think that'll be quite useful. Um, <coughs> Which one of me playing? <laughs> yeah, uh, let's do it. This set's pretty good. Uh, I mean, there's FD games in here. If you want to, because it sounds like FD sounds like a bit of a more of a struggle <coughs> at the moment. Yeah, honestly, they're all. I, I don't know anything about this character, so. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> like uh, any, any stage is a good stage to start. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's start with that too. Can you still see? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah. So you just you just jump and hit her, and I think I should yeah. do more of that. I think the key thing is I was going to point out that like I do the full hop to hit her, and it doesn't lead to like a combo. But the important uh -huh. thing is I outplay the next option, right? I don't try yeah, exactly. and like shine off of this. I just dash away and sort of bait it out, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah. You don't get a full punish on it, but jump and hit her. That's sort of unfortunate. But yeah, I was just going for it a lot because I was like, they're just uh, landing with down smash every time. So as long as I just don't get hit by that, you know? Uh huh. 
um, down her up tilt. Nice, 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 nice. Um, so this is one where up tilt's better than shine because um, you haven't got the platform to converse on anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep them sort of like close. Um. <clears throat> Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I there really is a like world. That. Yeah, there is a world where they like maybe double jump in here and try and counter hit me or something. But yeah, as long uh -huh. as you're playing around it like smartly. And when you're playing this matchup, are you really paying? Because I have this theory that I should be paying a lot more attention to like her momentum in her drift because yeah. she can't change directions very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I found a lot of times she would be floating backwards. Yeah. And I'd come off the platform with an with a down air. And she would just get way, way away. Yep. yep. Um, but that down here works sometimes, and the reason it works sometimes is because she's dr drifting in with her float. Yeah. She can't actually back up or whatever. Yep. Um, and so that's like something I've been thinking about a lot more is like, I got to pay attention to which way she's drifting. Yeah, yeah, that's all really good. And I mean, I'm going to assume if we watch the ones where I do full hop at them, it's because they're drifting towards me. Mm -hmm. Like that one. Yeah. Uh, one on this next stock. Um, whereas when they're just like in place or something, I'll probably be more, yeah, like that, right? Like yeah. They just jump forward, like holding W. <laughs> yeah, you know? full drifting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> whereas if they're like just in place waiting, then I'm probably a bit more cautious because they could do drifting back or drifting forward, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's yep backflip back air there right and do you think it's do you think that it's on fd it's a little bit weirder but do you think it's like important an important part of the matchup for falco to be taking those grounded mix-ups like you laser her into shield mm -hmm. and then you feel comfortable in that spot to like jump on top of her mm -hmm. um do you think that's like a, a how do i say this like do you think it's something that falco needs to be doing um or is it kind of like you have a read on them um, I'm assuming that your shield pressure is like pretty good against her, but yeah, I'd say so. Um, I think, it, I mean, it's definitely one of the better situations to get hit. I won't say that Falco wins every time, you know, uh -huh. he does actually have decent out of shield, but it's not yeah. Fox levels, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess that's true. Sometimes I feel like it's, it, it can feel not worth it because like, you just have to so cleanly out player. Like I, I say this in my head, I'm like, you have to have a scalpel. <laughs> you have to just like, yeah. I feel that way versus Mars sometimes too, but, um, like sometimes I just like versus Sheik, I don't really like shield pressure her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I kind of do like wave shines and like shine grabs a lot and stuff yeah, because yeah. I'm just so afraid of like the wave dash out. Obviously, Peach doesn't get as low, okay. but when when you said shield pressure, I, I was thinking of like shine grab and that sort of stuff as like mm. in my head that's shield pressure as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sorry. sure whether I, yeah. I mean, mean like doing like an aerial shine like like mix up i sometimes i i guess i don't know i'm now i'm now i'm second guessing myself because now i'm thinking like maybe i don't know anything about shield pressure but <laughs> <laughs> but uh but okay i'll just say this like sometimes i laser her and i see her get into shield and then i yep. want to jump on top of her yeah um because that's fun yeah uh and sometimes i don't feel like it's always worth it because i feel like i'm gonna get a shot i'm gonna get a grab or i'm gonna get a shine mm -hmm. and if she's a higher percent like she just kind of drifts away and i'm like oh man i almost just want her to go back to floating so yeah. i can just like get a clean dare or something you know yeah i think the the main thing missing there probably is just thinking about like what you're trying to cover with the shield pressure option you're doing right mm -hmm. like if you were doing a late approaching there to try and like read a wave dash away or something or mm -hmm. um maybe you're doing like um i don't know shine retreating aerial to bait out grab or something like that i think the reward would feel a lot better mm -hmm. um and it will also make you go well you know if they're at 150 and they're just gonna hold shield then yeah there probably isn't any point in me just jumping on top of them right because mm -hmm. if i shine them i can't kill if i grab them not much happens so maybe that's a spot where I'd want to just be like walling with back air, looking to, you know, let their shield deplete, um, mm -hmm. keep them in the corner, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess, I guess part of my question was like, 
I guess you're kind of just taking it as it comes up. Like, if she's going to sit there and shield and you're going to laser her, you, it's a good opportunity to get on top of her and, and try and get a shine grabber or something like that. But I, I find, like, a lot of my best openings come from lasering the float, naring at her. Yeah, yeah. Or no, something definitely. like that. I think that higher um, reward. Um, I agree. I just think yeah. that... Um, you know, her being in shield is also a bad spot as well. Uh -huh. um, and you don't want to make it so that, like, whenever she's in shield, she can just do whatever she wants, right? Right, right, um, right. You want to yeah. at least present that threat a little bit, that you might just jump on top of her and hit her, right? Right, yeah, definitely. Okay, all right. I I think I got to think more about, like, what I'm covering maybe against Yeah, Peach. I think... Just... I feel like what happens is, at low percent, I jump on her shield. Yeah. She does something out of shield. And let's say it's like not the shine. Let's say it's uh, I'm doing dare uh, shine or something like that. She jumps out of shield because she wants to nair me. Mm -hmm. She lands before me and then she down smashes and I'm holding down because I'm fast falling or something. And then yeah. I take 40. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I hate scrapping with this character. I feel like I get way better openings in other situations. But maybe I'm just, you know, inexperienced in the matchup and I'm not shield pressuring properly. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think that just sounds like you're using the wrong tools at the wrong times. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, full hop in the corner again. This one's a bit trickier because um, you know I don't have a platform, but I sort of yeah, drift in, bait like I'm going in, double jump one way, drift back the other, right? Mm -hmm. And lands, yeah. and then I trick her again. You know, it looks like I might try and get a laser out here, so they try and approach, and then I just jump over her, and now she's in yeah. the corner. I got laser. Those situations happen so fast in this matchup, I feel oh, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You just switch places. But, like, that's the goal <laughs> when you're in the corner is to try and get this switch place. Mm-hmm. Um, Backflip back up. Yeah, see, that's interesting. Yeah, you... Oh, I see. Okay. Here's our other float. Um, I mean, even the shield pressure I did here, I do eventually get clipped, but you can see how I'm not trying to land, like, completely on top of her, right? Uh-huh. Um, just trying to be a bit space still. <coughs> barely messed up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, I oh, think that's all burials right, is good, right? So, like... Yeah. Laser her out of the float, you know, she might end up trying to shield here, because I'm doing a late aerial, it's like, you know, it's not gonna be too bad. Yeah, I guess, I guess what I mean when I say, like, shield pressure, I'm just thinking about it more now, is, like, staying on her shield. Yeah, Because, like, yeah, kind okay. of versus Sheik is, like, I hit her shield, I try for the mix-up, you know, and then I'll wave dash away. Yeah. And I'm still in a good spot, I went for the mix-up, you know, she held shield, she was patient, or she outplayed me in some way, yeah. but I'm not super hard punished, and that's good. Yeah, I think that's how you should play versus every character. I think you should play, oh, yeah? play it like that. I think so, yeah. Hmm. Uh, unless they have, like, literally no out of shield options. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. even, every character has, like, role, right? So on some uh -huh. level, you do have to be respecting that. Uh -huh. um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess if you're playing versus, like, <laughs> I don't know, Zelda or something. Then like, yeah, That's you interesting probably though because I feel like yeah. versus like Fox, we're playing this mini game where they're like, you know, a lot of the pressure's unreactable. I could double shine, I could late aerial, I could early aerial, mm -hmm. I could drift back, I could drift forward to cover the. And there's so many things they have to worry about, and yeah. I feel like I'm watching them like a hawk, and I'm like, well, what yeah. are you doing? Like, <laughs> what do you like to do? And then I'm staying on their shield. But I feel comfortable in that spot. Yeah. Um. But I feel less comfortable versus like Sheik, and I think it's because of her, or yeah, Sheik, because I think it's because of her wave dash is just like I don't want to be short hopping like out of a shine in front of mm. her. I don't like that I think, <laughs> situation. I think that just sounds like you're maybe more aware of the risk reward versus Fox and the option set than you are uh -huh. versus other characters. Uh huh. That's probably definitely true because <laughs> I, I you play think about that Fox matchup more than that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. play a lot more Foxes. Exactly because I mean. <laughs> to me, I feel way more comfortable pressuring Peach or Sheik than I do Fox. Mm. So uh, I don't know. I yeah, think it really depends okay. on like what you're, you know, what you're looking for, what you're comfortable with. Well, that's good to hear though, because that means that uh, that means I could get to that level with mm. those characters and yeah, yeah, because that's I like that part of the game, you know.
yeah, like here, you know, I just get one hit on the shield and move away because I'm like, this isn't really a good shield pressure situation. Mm -hmm. um, whereas this one, you know, I get late shine. That one I double jumped away because, um, you know, this can be good if they try to like up you out of shield or maybe like narrow out of shield or something, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of sort of like, I guess, hit and run would be the way I'd sort of describe it. Where it's like mm -hmm. getting a couple hits and then you're just moving away. Keeping up control. <clears throat> that was not great. Oh yeah, so so this might be a spot where I do the AC bear, right? I'm right under her, and if she falls into me, then it's gonna mm -hmm. hit her, right? Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> yeah, or like with this one. Uh, again, I think like the difference in what we're defining shield pressure as is probably making this a bit awkward. But like here was an example where I'm like, you know, I can read dash back with a late aerial, right? Mm -hmm. Or wave dash mm -hmm. back rather. Um, yep, crouch next, next to the ledge. Yeah, there's a good example of what you're talking about. Yeah, so this is where like, you know, she does get her double jump back here, so it's not amazing. <clears throat> But um, it you know you're still covering pretty much everything there, right? Back with backers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you're like, I feel like I'm totally comfortable to do that rinse and repeat all mm. day. Mm. Like yeah, you for know, sure. we'll take those. <clears throat> yeah, so Tortors on purpose. Um. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think them. I'm I'm either trying to forward air or like jump forward with now. Um, yeah, because I think I like how it hits twice. It's like, yeah, and I'm protected here too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, you can see, I like what you said about the drift, right? Because you can see here, when they're not fully drifting forward, I'm not jumping at them, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I run under them there, for example, because I know they want to set up that float. And you know, you can get away with that sometimes. Once you've, um, you know, once you know that they're just going to immediately go forward, right? Mm hmm. Um, get what happened to you. You know, I even tried to read the full hop there, I'm pretty sure, because I did full hop double jump. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, it's just so hard to teach. Um, yeah, so like there I kept my <laughs> options open after the jab, right? Yeah, they got air dodge. Jumps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, for sure. Nice. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Um... <clears throat> Let's, um, uh, I'm trying to think of fiction Peach sets. I haven't actually watched them too much as Peach, so. <laughs> fiction Armada 2014. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think he's actually hard to find his Falco versus a Peach. It is, yeah. That's why I haven't watched it much, because I'm like, I don't even know if there's any. Many examples. I know Jin just played a lot of Peaches. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Magi's played a few. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> literally doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of me on here, actually. Um, quite a lot of Ginger. There's a few Mango ones. Yeah, I, I can't watch Mango in this matchup. <laughs> I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um... <clears throat> I think about what? I mean, I'm down. I think let's go back to that other bot. Did you send two bots or was it just one? I have like, yeah, I have like 10 we could go. Yeah. We want to do an FT. Yeah, let, let's do. Yeah, we can do an FT. I just think now that we've watched like. <laughs> like me play it it might be good to you know go back to watching you play it for just end and sort of uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see some of the differences right 
Let's see. So uh, yeah, I think this is the first game we played on FD. I got I got messed up. We're gonna hit enter this time. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> This is another thing where I was doing like way too many lasers when they were never gonna hit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I kept thinking like she's gonna fall onto them, but I started watching it from the Peach's perspective, and it's so reactable. She just waits and comes yeah, down. Yeah, I mean, the the thing is like, um, you know, say with this one, if she goes like right, they've just shot laser. Let me come down now. They're gonna get hit by this one, right? Mm. Um, but eventually it is like you run out of space here, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't keep doing this particularly, <clears throat> but this might be a spot where you're like, okay, they're waiting, they're waiting, now they finally drift in, and now I'm gonna run under, right? Or maybe I'm mm -hmm. gonna jump over now. Um, I think one thing I just wanted to point out right at the start is, I think these lasers are fine, but just really make sure you're being specific with the height. Yeah. Because you don't want yeah. this to happen, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think also this height, you can actually, like, short hop up area. Mm. Which can be good as well. You know something else I was thinking was, what do you think about run off the ledge and then like double, double laser the, the float height? Yeah, so I think it's good when they're not at a range where they can hit you for it. Yeah, so like you, now. you have like, like I have a lot of space right now. So I was yeah, whereas that. when you do it, like you see, I did like the instant double jump lasers like here. Mm -hmm. Like this is when it's a really rough spot to do it, right? Because if she mm -hmm. just does one dash attack, one there, one down smash, like you could die, right? Mm -hmm. So I would only go for it like when you're this far away, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. So this is great. Yep. And then that was the thing you were on about, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, so this is what we were saying. So I would either look for grab here instead, a bit more range, right? Or dash back and wait for their like scrap option, right? Uh huh. You know, they're probably gonna uh -huh. jab, down smash, that sort of thing, spot dodge. Uh huh. And then you get dash down, stash in, down there. Right? <clears throat> Um, yeah, can you whiff punish the, the double jab? Is um, it like something you would recommend trying to do? or? Yeah, so if you're going to try and whiff punish the jabs, you usually want to go for like a grounded option instead, so like grab maybe. Oh, uh, okay. Um, you can sometimes get it with like rising downer, but it's pretty hard. Um, uh -huh. And especially at this percent, right? Rising downer isn't going to be a very good hit to get. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, you could also whiff punish with like again backflip backer. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Um. But but yeah. So I think that's that's the main thing to be thinking about there. Um. And this is quite a classic thing most speech as well. So like, retreating laser is fine. Forces her <coughs> to jump. Right. But mm -hmm. then if she does jump, your next action needs to account for the fact that she jumped. Mm -hmm. right? Because this laser mm -hmm. isn't protecting you anymore, mm -hmm. right? So if you just jump in immediately, as if this laser was sort of um, keeping her over here, mm -hmm. then she's just going to fall on top of you and hit you here, right? Right. So you always yeah. want to, like, you know, shoot maybe another laser in place first, or, like, dash dance, wait for something. Um, you know, something like that, right? Because if you yeah. dash, dance, dash dance or laser again here... You'd see how she would fall into it, right? Essentially. Uh huh. Uh huh. Or you'd at least be a bit safer. Um. Yeah, something I noticed a lot was I was like shooting lasers after I knew that they weren't gonna hit. Yeah, so you always want to check here, like when you do the retreating laser. Uh, you know, <coughs> what, what are the chances of this hitting, right? Uh huh. Uh, and most, like, decent Peach players, especially on FD are very good at preemptively jumping when you have an opportunity to laser. And so this usually isn't going to hit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, King drop happens. Fine. Nice. Yeah, so I think this one you maybe could have converted off of. It's really rough again to tell. Something that can mess it up as well sometimes is like, um, if they fast fall or not as well. 
fast forward or like STI down or like something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think you should be able to shine before she can jab here, for example. Um, but if you're not sure, I always recommend just like dashing away. It's pretty good at shielding. Mm -hmm. uh, Double laser, I feel like, is usually a no-go versus Peach. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Just so many ways to deal with it, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you want to be careful with the laser height here as well, right? You've already lasered her out the float, so you don't need to shoot high anymore, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure whether that was a mess up, but... No, I think it was or, intentional. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then this one... You laser her out of the jump, but she still has access to the float. Yeah. Right? So you can't laser this anymore. Right. So yeah. again, you know, looking for run under, dash shield, full hop over her. You know, all those sorts of things, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, just making sure that you tech this as well. Like roll away. Mm -hmm. Pretty important. You do get the roll away, which is fine. Um, and then again, this is one way you probably want to just dash back, back, flip back air, right? Just get mm -hmm. around that forward air hitbox instead of like mm -hmm. running under her. Right, okay. Yes, yeah, so this is another one. I think you expected <laughs> the laser to hit. Yeah. But because yeah. it didn't and it was a bit too low. Your next action is as if it hit. Yeah. And then you get clips, right? Yeah, that happens pretty, a lot. Uh, yeah, pretty common versus Peach. The more you like look out for it, the I think the easier this matchup gets, honestly. Because you suddenly you aren't getting hit in all these like weird scenarios. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm really looking for is to I gotta get rid of the, the weirdness and get, uh -huh. you know. <clears throat> Definitely want to hit her up here rather than down. Mm. So the reason being, she's got very limited resources here, right? Mm -hmm. I think she might have a float still. That's about it. Oh, she I know she it. even did both. I think she did both. Yeah, yeah. So like here, I would just like up tilt again. And then look for up air maybe. Yeah. Or like yeah. nares across the stage. Mm-hmm. Nice, yep, and then again, back flip back air. Yeah. yeah, I think it's most yeah. the same things coming up. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's good in a way because it's like you know you fix those like couple things and then you know uh -huh. it's gonna make a big difference, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sweet. There's not much you can do about it. <laughs> <New Mars. laughs> it's pretty rough. <laughs> you, you can try and catch them and throw them back if you want, but that's your only real sort of out there, I'd say. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, okay, cool. So, does that, um, do you feel like you have some stuff to work on then? With that? Yeah, definitely. I definitely, the nice thing too is that I feel like I have a bunch of stuff that I didn't consider, mm -hmm. which is great. Which is really great because I already have a bunch of stuff I did consider. <laughs> so, yeah. so having even more is really good. Yeah, that 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 second laser thing is super important. It is. Yeah. I didn't even. Th I think I intuitively knew about the platform, like being under it, and she couldn't hit me. I think that's why I put myself there. But yeah, to hear it in words is really nice. Like, oh, she actually can't can't mm -hmm. get you here. 
that backflip is really good. Yeah. Uh, the backflip um, back air. Yeah. Um, we talked a little bit about shield pressuring and um, kind of using the right tools in the right situations and stuff like that. So that's mm -hmm. good. Backing off. Yep. Um, and then, uh, like about the the floating and the drifting and knowing that you actually can jump at her and hit her and that's like a viable yeah, way to yeah. threaten. Like you can't just float forward at me is really good to know. Mm -hmm. That was actually something I was thinking about that I was like, I don't know if it's good. It seems ridiculous just to jump at her for yeah, the full yeah. up aerial, but, <laughs> but <laughs> I think it could be uh, decent. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of really good stuff. Awesome.